When a music director working for a new phonograph company offered soprano Mary Carson Kidd what she thought was a season's performing contract along with regular recordings, she readily agreed. Judge Learned Hand fielded their eventual contract dispute in the apparent authority case Kidd v. Thomas A. Edison, Incorporated. Edison came up with a novel idea to market its phonographs. It would hire popular singers to give concerts called tone test recitals in record stores. As the artist sang, an Edison employee would record the performance. Then the song would immediately be played back on the phonograph, allowing the dealers to compare the live performance they'd just heard with the recording. Verdi Fuller, the general supervisor of the musical division, took charge of the tone recital project. Fuller approached singer Mary Kidd, asking her to sing for this promotional program. She agreed on the assumption that the Edison Company had promised to employ her from October 15th to April 1st at a rate of $300 per week, whether or not the company booked her on any given week. Booking an entire season was customary practice for performing artists, but it wasn't what Edison had assumed. Edison intended that Fuller only book singers for recitals that record dealers agreed to pay for, with Edison guaranteeing the dealers' payments to the singers. Edison refused to pay Kidd for the unbooked weeks of the contract period. Kidd sued Edison in federal district court. She argued that as a popular singer, she never would have agreed to be bound exclusively for six months on the understanding that she'd only be paid if Fuller succeeded in booking her. The trial jury found for Kidd. Edison filed a motion to set aside the verdict. It asked the court to decree that Fuller had exceeded his authority in booking Kidd for an entire singing tour. 